Many of our women walking around here, and the doctors say that they're healthy. The doctors say that they're fine. You can't see anything when you do a test on them and when you listen to their heartbeat and when you do blood tests on them and their cholesterol and blood pressure and everything is fine. Because on the subtle levels, on the higher levels of her body, on her mental, emotional, and spiritual levels, in her energetic field, the vibration has shifted, the frequency has changed. Because if you know it or not, your heart can only beat when there's electromagnetic frequency moving through the heart. And it has to move on rhythm. And if the frequency is not balanced to make your heart beat, then you're going to start having flutters, you're going to start having a regular heartbeat, and that could cause a heart attack. So it goes back to energy again. And to keep that heartbeat regulated, to keep that frequency moving through there, you need the right minerals mm -hmm. to, to nourish the heart, like potassium, calcium, magnesium, things they don't really tell you about, things that they tell you that you can get from taking a Centrum pill, and then you can take the other meds they give you, and as long as you eat hamburgers and, you know, chicken wings and shit, you can eat. Don't you take this pill. Everything's going to be regulated, and everything's going to be fine. When that doesn't regulate, it actually shifts your hormonal balance, and it shifts the chemical composition of your brain. So now we, we have this condition underneath, but nobody sees it, and we don't see it, but then we do see the shit, but you hold it in. Just like I was talking about my cousin was always so smooth and easy, and I know for her to have a massive heart attack in her sleep, everything wasn't fucking smooth and easy for her. She was taught like the rest of us to dumb shit down, to numb shit down, numb yourself, to suppress and deny what you feel, and especially being a woman of color and coming from slavery, and a lot of us ain't had shit anyway. So we've been taught, you you make do. You get by to get by, and you just suffer. And you just take it, and you just deal with it, and by and by, Jesus is going to fix it. Everything is going to be okay. You just got to learn to have a stiff upper lip, and you're strong if you take it, and you're weak if you don't. Well, what I'm saying is, when you hold shit in, and you put up a good face, and everybody likes you because you're so nice, and you're sweet, and you don't complain, and you don't moan, and you don't argue, and you don't fuss, and you don't fight, everybody looks at you as being angelic because you're a fucking victim. You let us kick you. You let us fuck you. And you just always look so nice and pretty and sweet, and you just do everything we ask you to do. What I'm telling you is, when you put yourself in a position to be a victim, when you put yourself in a position to deny what you feel and what you think, and your needs are never met, and you are always being a servant to somebody, and you're always meeting other people's needs, you are setting up a vibrational field because whether anybody says this to you or not, and you don't need anybody to validate you, you know when you're being fucked over. And you know when you've been abused. You know when you've been used. You know when your mental, emotional, physical, and sexual needs are not met. You know when there's a financial deficit. You know when you're being disrespected by your child. You know when a nigga don't want you. Even when you're laying in the bed with you and him and he's breaking off some hell of fire dick and head. You know when the motherfucker been with somebody else. You might not be able to prove it. But you can sense it. And we've been taught to deny and dumb that shit down, too. Now, that ain't happening. He paid his bills. He done bought this car. He just bought this brand new house. I don't care if the motherfucker cheating on me because I got this house note to pay. I got these children to take care of. I don't care if he might have cheated on me and didn't use a rubber and might subject me to HIV. Even if I have to keep that secret and deal with that. He is a good provider. He's a good man. He takes care of these kids. I can't do this alone. I can't break up this so-called happy union. I got to make everybody think everything okay. I can't go on food sets. I can't go on welfare. I cannot lose this lifestyle that I have. You know when you're being fucked over. You know when you're being played, and you know when you're playing yourself. But because you don't say nothing, everybody thinks it's okay, and you keep putting up the appearance, but you know what? Your body starts saying something. Your body starts telling on you in some kind of way. And that's why many of us are undercover prescription drug addicts because we feel like as long as don't nobody else know, as long as I know that this shit is in my drug cabinet, as long as I know this shit is in my pocketbook or, or here up under the bed, it's okay. I'll be able to cope. Just don't say nothing. 
just keep on moving forward, just keep on dealing with this, but you can only do that for so long. You can only get away with that so long. You know, you might not have a massive heart attack. You you might not wake up dead, as old folks say. Nobody might find your ass because of that. But it starts coming out somewhere else. You found your husband cheating. You found out your husband or your boyfriend got another baby across town. You found out your daughter's pregnant and she's only 12 years old. You found out your little boy is gay. And now you're devastated because he's going to embarrass you at church and embarrass the family. And he wants to dress up like Tinkerbell all the damn time and, and hit everybody with a wand. Now you, you're you totally devastated. You don't know what to do because he's skipping around and want to wear a damn pink tutu with glitter on it. See, in some kind of way, the things that we don't want to deal with as women and the things that we hide and deny, they have a way of making us deal with them. But unfortunately, yeah, those problems I just mentioned are real big in the community because I, I, I get these emails all the time. But the woman of color's health is a big problem and heart attack is a big problem. And I know another woman that is, what, almost 10 years younger than me, just had a heart attack um, maybe a couple of years ago. So she's, what, 31, maybe 32. And she just had a baby. So the baby's maybe like two. She had to be in the hospital because the of the stress of dealing with a divorce and having everything unravel and then being pregnant at the same time. It went and busted that fourth chakra open, which is right between the breasts. And it is very powerful for that to happen to her because she's dealing with being pregnant and having her breast get ready to nurture a newborn. And her womb being the creative force of the Garden of Eden, bringing forth life and to sustain that life and trying to sustain a man and a marriage and another child. And it starts unraveling unravel her heart explodes. So she's still here. But she had to be hospitalized, and because of that, now her heart is damaged. And she has to get regular checkups to make sure that her heart is functioning okay. And she has to watch her stress level. She has to exercise. She has to watch her diet. Because now that her heart has said, I can't take this bullshit no more, and I already know that if you have a heart attack in your 30s, that makes me wonder, okay, how much other shit that's been in there from when you were 20 or maybe when you were 15 that we don't know about or that you consciously don't want to acknowledge that your body said, okay, I'm going to bury it here, just like your body will take fat from certain areas where your organs are. That's why a lot of times we women get fat around our flank. We'll, we'll get fat in between our thighs because you don't have any vital organs there. So your body will move the fat to an area that it knows it's not going to cause uh, damage or shut down a, a vital organ. So that's why I'll put it everywhere else, as long as it can, without trying to layer it around major organs because you have serious problems. So your body will try to keep you living because the body doesn't want to die, and it's smart enough to keep you living. Just like this body smart enough and you don't even think about it, you're still breathing. You feel your diaphragm going up and down. You feel your lungs expanding. And then going down because it knows what to do. It has more sense than the common mind does. So it will try on many levels to sustain us until we learn how to sustain ourselves or until we move the obstacle. And that's one of the main reasons I want to do this show, which is an intro show, just, just trying to put something on your mind and open up your mind to see how powerful you are, how dynamic you are, how special and beautiful you are because it's a lack of that knowledge and a lack of that healing and a lack of the fact that everything we hear, everything that's said to us, everything we say to ourselves is being programmed in our chakras, programmed in our org field. And if it is negative and if there was a violation to us and we haven't addressed it, then it starts to cause damage because it registers in the energetic field forever. And it starts to actually shut down, it can actually kill cells, it can actually kill organs, it can actually cause the organs to mutate 
along with our diets. 